This month marks Alzheimer's and Brain Awareness Month, and it impacts so many people. Did you know that here in Utah, nearly 50% of the population is helping care for someone with Alzheimer's or dementia? Amy Nay now with more on early signs and some possible prevention in this week's Healthier Together. Alzheimer's disease is one of the most common causes of dementia. It represents 60 to 70 percent of cases. A progressive disease associated with memory loss, cognitive decline, and a disruption in daily living. Regents' executive medical director, Dr. Amy Kahn, says in 2019, Utah ranked ninth out of the top 10 states in death rates from Alzheimer's. Women more likely to die from it. And is becoming more common, roughly one out of three elderly at the time of death may have some form of a dementia. It's cause unknown and there's no known cure, but there are some early signs and things you can do to stop or slow the disease's progression. And it's a good time to assess, have there been any changes in behavior, changes in thinking, memory loss, even odd or awkward social skills that you can notice. The top five early signs identified as memory loss that disrupts daily life. Challenges like planning or problem solving or handling money, difficulties with completing familiar tasks, confusion with time or place or recognizing familiar faces, and difficulty with balance and judging distance. Maybe it's fender benders or tripping or dropping things. The key is to recognize a change from that individual's baseline level of functioning. If these signs show consistently, you should contact your medical provider. But there are some things Dr. Khan says we can all do right now. Adopting healthy behaviors can definitely improve brain health. And these are similar behaviors to those that prevent heart disease, diabetes, cancer. Recommended healthy practices include controlling blood pressure and cholesterol, managing blood sugar, maintaining a healthy weight, adopting the Mediterranean or a low sodium diet, and consuming alcohol in moderation. Incorporate daily exercise and keep socially connected. Alzheimer's and other dementia affects the whole family. Roughly 50% of Utahns are providing unpaid care for someone suffering from dementia. And Dr. Khan encourages those caregivers to reach out for support themselves. For Healthier Together, Amy Nay, Fox 13 News, Utah. For more on this story, or if you have health-related questions you'd like answered, send an email to healthiertogether at fox13now.com.